Hi, I'm Neil Agri. I'm the composer on Mist World, and I worked on games like World of Warcraft, Starcraft II, Diablo III, Overwatch. I grew up in Los Angeles, where I was born, and was a big fan of Star Wars, and um, I'm a big fan of uh, fantasy games. So getting to work on a fantasy game like Mist World is a lot of fun. You know, I grew up playing. Uh, games on the Atari 2600 and you know a lot of stuff like that and I I've always been a gamer so getting a chance to work in games was really exciting. I started working for Blizzard about 10 years ago on the uh, Burning Crusade cinematic for uh, World of Warcraft. That was a really incredible experience because it was my first time writing music for games and that led to some incredible experiences including getting to conduct my music and on four continents including in China and um, it's been a really incredible uh, journey these last 10 years. I really love the Chinese culture. I, my, my father was, uh, he loved Chinese culture, he loved Chinese movies, and he taught Tai Chi. So when I first got to go to China in 2013 to conduct with Video Games Live, it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. You know, I, I getting to meet the people and eat the food and, and see the amazing architecture and nature. And uh, getting to work for a Chinese company like NetEase has been really exciting. You know, there's, they make some incredible games. I got to meet the uh, Mistworld team in San Francisco and they're a great group of people, very enthusiastic and passionate about making games and, and about game audio. And uh, it's great to work with people like that who have a lot of ideas and are really passionate because it makes me want to work even harder to make the best game possible. It's great to be able to work globally like this, to be able to work with people on the other side of the world because, you know, music's a universal language. You know, I write the music here and it's being played in a game in, in China. And even though the languages are different, everyone understands the emotions of the music. So it's, it's a wonderful process, and I hope to do it again soon with, with the people from this world. Mr. World looks like a really exciting game. It's a, it's a mobile game, it's a fantasy MMO game, uh, has a grand worldview. You know, both the upper world and the underworld have all these different kinds of species. You can explore every corner of the world, experience unexpected things and you can do that with your friends. Uh, I enjoy playing with friends near me, but you can also play online and, and, and chat while you're playing. There's a lot of heroes in Mist World. They have special and unique abilities, and uh, you can build your team entirely based on abilities or style of play. The operation mode is, is something really new and, and different I haven't seen before, and, and when you guys see it, yeah, you'll think it's very cool. For the, the score of Mist World, I used uh, Tina Guo, who's a cellist that I've worked with uh, many times. And uh, I also worked with a vocalist, uh, Julie Elvin, from Germany. And she has a beautiful voice, and I worked with her before on World of Warcraft Legion that's coming out soon. Environments and story uh, influence the music because when I sit down to write the music, I I watch uh, the gameplay, I look at artwork, and I like to read about the characters and find out like, what kind of emotions the players should be feeling, what's the backstory of the characters, and what struggles do they have. I want the music to convey uh, that emotion for the players, and I want to create a musical identity for the characters. So a character like Prince Nelson might have a uh, a, a certain sonic characteristic or have like a certain emotion that evokes when, when you're playing that character or when you're experiencing that story. So the environments, um, sometimes the environments will, will kind of dictate a certain mood or a certain sound. Uh, for example, if I have an environment like Koldaris, the music should have that feeling too. The music might be uh, sparse and, um, you know, not not too busy and you want to kind of create this mood, the same feeling that you would feel if you were really there. There's a moment on Koldara where the dwarves massacre the trolls and the mood I was going for was something very sorrowful. And so emotionally speaking with music, you know, often I'll, I'll try to find an instrument that specifically evokes that kind of emotion. And in this case, I used cello, which was the Tina Guo, the cellist I worked with. And I found that instrument to be one of the most evocative instruments. You know, it has a very wide range, and especially played in the higher register, it can be very evocative. 
Mr. World is a fun and exciting game, and I hope you turn up the music when you play. And you get to hear some of the sounds and music we created for the game, and I hope to bring more music to you in the future. I hope you enjoy playing the game as much as I enjoyed working on it.